Are you suffering from a wound infection or a skin infection, maybe an infection of your stomach or even a lung infection? Then it might be that your doctor has prescribed you clarithromycin, also known as Bexian. In this video, we will cover how and when to use it, what are possible side effects, the dosages, and much, much more. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. And for those of you meeting for the first time, my name is Dr. Raoul. I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and it's my mission to medically educate my viewers so you can make healthier decisions. But just remember, I'm a medical doctor from the internet. I know nothing about your personal situation. So always ask your own doctor for personal advice. Let's get learning. So as mentioned, the generic name of this medication is Claritromycin and it's sold under the brand names Classid or Baxian and it's available as a tablet, a modified release tablet, and a suspension. Which brings us to how to use it. If you want to use it as a regular tablet, make sure to swallow it whole with half a glass of water. If you want to use it as a modified release tablet, you can also swallow it with some water. But make sure to not crush the tablet and do not chew on it, as it is covered in a protected layer. Damaging this layer might decrease the effectivity of the tablet. And lastly, when using it as a suspension, make sure to add the right amount of powder or liquid using a measuring spoon or measuring cup to a glass of water. Stir it and drink all the water. In addition, it's also important to mention to use clarithromycin at a fixed time. This will make you less likely to forget it does. Now, clarithromycin is part of a group of drugs called macrolides, which are antibiotics. Therefore, they can be used to treat several infections with bacteria. For example, infections of the respiratory tract, like a pneumonia, infections of the skin, like a wound infection, and gastrointestinal infections, such as a stomach infection. Which brings us to the correct dosages to use. And here I want to mention that I can only provide you with some guidelines. Always use the dose and frequency your doctor prescribed you. As your specific dose will depend on your indication of use, the side effects you might experience, and the severity of your symptoms. However, when treating mouse infections in adults, your doctor might prescribe you 250 mg two times per day when prescribing regular tablets. In severe infections, this dose could be increased up to 500 mg two times a day. When your doctor prescribes you modified release tablets, it will be 500 mg once per day, and in severe infections, 1000 mg once per day. The usual treatment duration is 6 to 14 days. Now, clarithromycin can be a very effective drug, but unfortunately, it can also cause some side effects. I will just name a few of them in this video, but if you're looking for a complete list, ask your doctor, your pharmacist, or check your leaflet. Commonly, it might cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, a skin rash, and function test abnormalities of your liver. Uncommonly, it might cause a hypersensitivity, palpitations, inflammation of several organs, a dry mouth, fever, and chills. Which brings us to the safety of use. And there are no limitations for combining clarithromycin with any type of food, and you can also combine it with alcohol. However, do so in moderation. When driving and you feel dizzy, then please do not drive. Otherwise, you're safe to combine driving and your usage of clarithromycin. What is important to note, though, is that it can have interactions with other drugs you're taking. Therefore, always discuss this with your personal doctor. And lastly, if you're pregnant or if you're breastfeeding, then always discuss this with your personal doctor. In most cases, the usage of clarithromycin is safe, but there are some exceptions. Now, I hope you know now how and when to use clarithromycin, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. For those of you that want to keep on learning, check out the playlist in the description. And if you did learn something, click that like button and possibly subscribe. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers. By clicking that button, you can help me to reach that goal. And in return, you will never miss such an awesome medical video ever again. Lastly, great thanks to my Patreon supporters. Thank you, Sebastian, who is an university supporter. And for those of you that can't get enough, I also have an Instagram account at How to Medicate. I will see you there, or we'll see you next week with a new video. Bye-bye.